Well, this is the newest acquisition for the shop. Um, had to wire the other part of the garage up for 220 to accommodate this. Um, I was going to buy a different CNC router. I had uh, my mind set on the platform CNC by Grunblau, um, Brian Ultrag. Beautiful machine. Um, it's either that or a CNC router parts 24 by 48. But this happened to come up in my area. Well, close enough to drive to anyway. And I couldn't pass it up, especially for the price. Um, the previous owner bought it in 2011. Early, or late 2011, basically. He, he received it in 2012, January, and proceeded to never use it. Um... There's no wear on this thing at all. All it has is accumulated dust from having sat for the last five years or so. And uh, he wanted a whopping $3,000 for this thing, which I, I really can pass it up. So it's a J-Cut 6090A, as it says there. It's got a 1.5 kilowatt spindle. Um, made mostly of cast aluminum and cast iron and then a welded steel base um, it's got profile rails or the round support linear rods which isn't bad you know I mean for my first CNC machine I don't I'm not complaining and I, I don't see how this would be all that difficult to replace I mean basically look how that look how that mounts nothing too complicated there and I've been watching Roger Webb's videos. He's got a similar machine. And I knew I was getting this, so I had to do as much research as I could. And he took his, I guess he had gantry issues right around video 72 or so. And he took his gantry apart. And his gantry basically extends straight up. And then it's got two unsupported rods. I mean, they're, they look like they're about an inch in diameter, but they're unsupported rods. And I was thinking, oh, well, you know, you know, unsupported rods are generally frowned upon as they there's flex in them, but for what the work I plan to do with this thing, it doesn't matter. Um, I plan to just do wood and styrofoam, so I, you know, occasionally aluminum. It's more than what I need. So I decided to take this apart, take off the, uh, the accordion um, dust cover, and lo and behold, this thing is a piece of cast aluminum or cast iron. I think it's aluminum. I haven't put a magnet on it yet. The chips certainly look like aluminum. In fact, I'm really certain they're aluminum now that I look at the chips. They'd be little black things if they weren't. And uh, it's got ball screws on all axes and supported linear rods in here too. So the big deal about today is I've had this thing for about two weeks took me a while to get electricity hooked up in here to power it and also there's another another kind of a big deal for my shop I, uh, I made a welding table um, that's a video of its own I suppose uh, so um, it's got a it's controlled the spindle the 1.5 kilowatt spindle is controlled by a Sunfar E300 I haven't been able to get that to spin up in Mach 3 yet. I'm really not sure what I need to do. Um, there was zero documentation as far as that was concerned. I, there was documentation as far as the rest of the machine, though. And um, I was able to decipher most of the Chinese stuff in the manual. Uh, so I've got that running. I'll show you that in a minute. It's got... I don't know if you can see. The lighting in here is horrible. I'm going to change that soon, too. Um, it's got lead shine... What are those things? Like E542s, something like that. But there are actual lead shine drivers. The stepper motor is a little warm. Not not hot, but it's definitely got warmth to it. I bought this thing and I probably have to change the electronics at some point. Um, 
the controller is a uh, What does that say? JNC USB. Uh, PLCX 6045M. Yeah, you can't see. Ugh. But it's basically a, a Chinese USB breakout board. And it does function, but judging by the settings that, that are recommended for this thing, it's not exactly very aggressive. I am considering getting a uh, an all-in-one lead shine solution or possibly I don't know at this point a C11 or maybe a Gecko G540 maybe that pack from CNC router parts I don't know maybe I'll sort things or source things individually but yeah this is the machine I haven't cut a thing with it yet I don't plan to until I've got the, the spindle cooled. I'm, I'm not running a spindle without cooling it. I mean, I, I was able to start it with the potentiometer and the VFD, and I suppose I could do that and then run code and just not use use Mach 3 to control the spindle. And I probably will do that until I get that working because I can't wait. It's driving me crazy. I want to make a cut, you know? Um, anyway, I'm going to put this in its little... Basically, I just took the bar off out of there. I'm going to put this in its thing. Excuse the vibration. There you go. Let me see what kind of a view that is. Not bad. All right, I'm going to jog it around a little bit, and that'll be the end of this one. That's going to get cold in here soon. switch I guess that works with a limit switch Screw it. Uh, I'm gonna fix this and not let you guys or make you guys watch me fumble fuck around. Um, and to be honest, you know, I don't know what I'm doing yet. This is gonna be an adventure this year, I think. And I will probably have to spend money on this thing. I'm okay with that though. I mean, spending three grand on something like this, I do have wiggle room. So, um, yeah, talk to you next time. <laughs>